well it's hot again good grief it's september in middle of september and we're at a, i don't know 90 something degrees and it's burning up out here Let me tell you what's going on though. We have this DM 5060 Frontier cutter and I'm having problems with the with the breaking loose constantly. The safety latch or the safety bar, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, the part that breaks loose and allows the cutter to swing back whenever we're having a, you hit a hole or you hit, a, you hit something, uh, it just keeps snapping loose. And that's not normal, so I got looking at it really close. And one of the problems is, is like i said before the guy that had it before i don't think they really knew how to use it we're going to fix that i'm going to show you what's going on with it thought i'd just show you this is still part of you know letting you know how i think what i think about the frontier cutters they're made by john deere uh they're not a real popular cutter out there but you know it might be something that will work for you on a small farm right here this right here is your breakaway and it's your safety latch. Well, the guy that had it before me, look, look at here. They have the spring tight as it'll go. And that's not supposed to be like that. Now, I knew that going into it. Um, the problem was I needed, to, I needed to use it. And so I knew there were some issues here. So I'm going to try to get you in here. If you look, if you look right here, you see how this is... How this is setting, it's not supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to look like that at all. As a matter of fact, I think it's been a little bit. So what we're going to have to do is take this part and see if we can straighten this. And then we're going to have to fix this little problem right here. I'm going to get started on this and get this, take this thing out. And then I'll give you a closer look at it. All right, I'm going to carry it back over to the shop and see if I can do some work on it. See if we can get it fixed and back up and running. Okay, this is definitely messed up. These two welded on pieces are not gonna let, allow me to slip it all the way out. What I'm gonna do is take this loose, get everything straightened out the best I can, and then I'm probably gonna have to look and see if this is bent right here. If this is bent, then I need to straighten that out. For right now, let me get it apart, and let's just see what's going on, because I really don't know exactly yet. First thing I'm gonna do is take this spring off. Okay, so, so definitely, if you look, it's hard to see probably on the camera, but it's bent right here. This is bent. So I need to, we're gonna have to take and straighten this out. Let's see if I can show you this way. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. So we're gonna have to bend this back. You look at this right here, you can see how, how badly worn this is. This is, this is the original of what it's supposed to look like right here on the very end. Hopefully you can see that. And this is what it really looks like now. This is totally not supposed to look like that. On the other side, it's this piece that bolts on. It's not as in bad a shape, but if you look right here, you can see that it's worn pretty badly itself. I really need to clean the shop up because I can't find anything. I don't know where my hammer's at. Here I thought it was going to be hard to bend. That wasn't hard to bend at all. Okay. Knock this. Let's put this on here. See how close we got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. Hopefully you saw that. I knocked the I knocked the living daylights out of it. 
but it didn't bend it wasn't that hard to bend and I bent this back straight so now this road should run straight now we got to fix this we got to fix this little problem right here uh, so we're gonna weld it all right I love these auto darkening helmets but <laughs> when a battery goes dead on one it's dead <laughs> and there ain't nothing you can do about it and all you can do is go find another battery so if you don't have another regular manual helmet that's just laying around to do your welding you don't have a battery you're you're done for the day unless you want to go blind but i found a I found a battery you got a battery in it now so let's see if i can build this up and make get this weld welded up here all right we got a pass on there i'm only gonna do one pass at a time because i'm gonna build i'm gonna build my ramp uh slowly and then i'll 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 throw another pass on it and continue building a ramp on it so right now all we have is this I just put a, a weld straight across the top of it it's kind of hard to see but I put a weld straight across the top now I'm gonna grind that down and smooth it out and then I'm gonna put another weld across the top grind it down smooth it out and basically gonna build that pyramid back in there that's supposed to be there so continue hanging with me I will get this done Actually, that's pretty clean. I'm just going to throw another weld on it because I can and because I want to. All right, that's pass number two, and that looks good. So now I've got pass number two in here, and all I did was put it right beside the other weld. I'm going to grind off, I'm going to knock this slag off of here and then I'm just going to build one right in the middle and then grind it. That looks like it will work just fine. All right, let me get you in here. I've, you can see right here where I've ground this and over here where I ground this. And I still got this little piece here in the middle. I want to I want to make it kind of sharp. So I'm going to put another weld right across there, and then I'm going to grind this again and bring that up. Now this the weld will probably be stronger than this metal here was. So we're going to do that. If this bends again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because it cannot be bending. We can't have we can't have that thing bending like that. No, no, no. So. Let me put another weld across the front here. It would help if you put the ground on. Let me show you what's going on again again i put another weld right across the top of this i've already ground this down over on each side of those two welds that i put on there and this here right here should become the top of it so i should be able to grind this up into a pyramid and that will put that point on there that point that point is what you need for that thing so let me get in here and grind this off of there This is actually pretty well fixed, I think, in my opinion. It looks pretty good. Um, you can see that, that that pyramid is back on there. It's not 100% it's not perfect, and I may not be finished yet because I, I don't like this little section right here. Uh, but most of it rides here and not over here. I don't know why this looks like this. What I might do is just put a weld across here because it looks like it's missing something here. I don't know. Looks like maybe the, it, they, they welded it and it wasn't a very good weld and I knocked it off whenever I was hitting it. So I'm gonna weld that back in and get that taken care of. All right, get you back in one more time. You see this weld right across here. I'm just gonna sharpen this up and I'm gonna call it done. I think that's gonna be all that this is, all that this is gonna need. Finally, the last but not least, this has got its point back on it. As you can see, there's a point back on there. There's a little bit of weld right there, but the point is back on that just like it's supposed to be. And all I need to do is put this and this back together. This goes like this. 
And this goes like this. That definitely looks a whole lot better than it did. A whole lot better than it did. We have a bolt that goes through here like this. And then we have a spring. And we have a, a spacer. And we used to have a nut. I found it. Put this nut on here. So finally I put this back together. This is not collapsed anymore. This spring has got got room in it now. This is fixed. You can see that we put the pyramids back in. I'm going to call them pyramids. I don't know what else you want to call them. The dogs, they're back together. This is back tight again. This, this is tight. It's not bent anymore. I tightened up these sleeves right here on both sides. I tightened these sleeves up a little bit because they look like they had been bowed or bent or something. Basically, I don't know how this is going to work until we put this back on the cutter and then get out in the field with it and see what it does. Hopefully it won't pop loose like it has been. I mean, yes, it's gonna pop loose if I hit something heavy or hard or whatever. It's, just, it's supposed to do that, but it's been popping loose every few minutes just for no reason at all, it seems like. This should fix that, I hope. Uh, you, you want some spring here, which it had zero spring because they had collapsed it 100%. I think that's what bent this, bent this uh, I, I really believe that's what bent this right here. And, and now that's straight. This is all tight. This is all tight here now. It's like it's supposed to be. This is tight here. And my pyramids are look good inside of there. Our, our, our dogs, they're, I guess they're gonna be, they could be considered a dog. But that's all fixed. It's all fixed. It fixed. Um, I don't see anything else. Uh, it's not floppy like it was before. It's nice and tight. Hopefully this will fix it. Now the weld is probably harder than the steel that was there to start with. Uh, so it should uh, hopefully it'll last longer. Uh, we'll see if not just build it up again I'm gonna go put it back on and then we'll get it. We'll get it out in the field as soon as we can It's kind of getting dark right now. We're gonna have to call it a night, but I'm gonna go get this back on there All right, we've been cutting with this for a few minutes. I had to tighten up the spring just a little bit um, And I'm going a little bit slower. We were hitting some major big fresh hog holes I hit hit an area where the hogs have been in there and just tore the ground completely up and it started busting loose right there and I, I had to I actually had to pull out of all of that and, and and just stop remember that's what that that safety break is for it's just for that purpose is to is to keep you from from tearing something up so it breaks loose and allows that cutter to to fold backwards on us well that's what it did a couple times but then it started doing a little bit easier I checked my welds and all the, the area that we did the repair to that all still looks good all I did was slow down a little bit for right now um, the field's just too rough uh, to go very fast it, it bounces around and then it just snaps it like that um, but I tightened it up a little bit it seems to be fine now uh, I didn't go very t super tight I went about maybe a round and a half maybe two rounds on the, on the bolt and that's it compress the spring just a little bit more and that way it doesn't bust loose quite so easy it looks like it's doing pretty good now. I, I just hope it continues to do so. If if it does, then that means our repair was successful. That's for sure. Look, we continue to, to try to provide you with good content. I hope you continue to keep tuning in. Until next time, though, thanks.